Alright guys, so you've seen that Disney bracket meme that's been going around. Um, I found a new one, uh, a different one with like a... It's like pretty uh, intricate. Has a lot more movies. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. Uh, let's see how this goes. I kinda wanna see how this goes. Let's let's use our red here. And let's write all over this thing. Alright. Actually, let's use this brush here. <laughs> gonna find the right brush for this. Okay, let's let's... Okay, Snow White, and S I don't even know what that is, Salvados Amigos. Let's just go Snow White on that. Okay, Peter Pan Jungle Book. Um, let's go, uh, I don't know. Um, I, don't, I don't really remember Peter Pan. Let's go Jungle. So uh, we're going to really narrow it down to the ones that I actually care about. Sword in the Stone, Bambi. I've never, I don't even know if I've seen Sword in the Stone, so we'll go Bambi on this one. That's a childhood classic. Pinocchio and Dumbo. We'll go Pinocchio on this. Dumbo like really is really freaky, um, with that weird trippy elephant scene. Cinderella and what is what does that even say? I don't, I don't even know what that title is. <laughs> someone someone let me know what that is. Uh, is it Beauty and the Beast? Oh, is that Beauty and wait, that's not Beauty. No, Beauty and the Beast is right there. I don't know what that is. Let's we're gonna go Cinderella here. Um, Lady and the Tramp. 101 Dalmatians. 101 Dalmatians is a really nice animation, but Lady and the Tramp has that classic uh, scene. I've actually never seen either one in its entirety, but I think just because of that one scene, ah, should I go animation over over emotion? We gotta we gotta give the benefit to emotion and story. So I think Lady and the Tramp uh, gets it just for that one scene. Yeah, y'all know what scene I'm talking about. Ichabod and the something. We'll go Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping. Um, Fantasia, Alice in Wonderland. Ooh, this is a hard one. Ooh, this is really hard. Um, who seeded this? Snow White got first seed. Who seeded this, bro? This is the sil gold and silver era, era. The OG Disney movies with the nine old men. Um, Fantasia. Wow. Alice in Wonderland is really good, though. It's very iconic in the imagery. Um, I think, I guess personal bias would put me toward... Um, Wait a minute. I I I should uh mute those texts. I don't want you guys to see my text coming in. Um All right, Fantasia or Alice. Let me see. I think my personal bias would Okay, so I think just cuz of the scene alone with Mickey Mouse and the brooms, I might give it to Fantasia. But Alice in Wonderland is really good. I really like it a lot. I really love the character design of Alice. Um very cute, uh very classic. Um like Al the the style of Alice like uh, is very similar to like um, a solid anime style. Um, what's that? Does that say Brave Little Toaster? Is that even Disney? That's Disney. Well, Brave Little Toaster was depressing, so we'll give it to Beauty and the Beast. Uh, Tarzan, Winnie the Pooh. Let's go to Tarzan here. Little Mermaid, Pocahontas. Oh, these are rough, man. Uh, Little Mermaid is a little too girly for me. So sorry to all the girls out there who like Little Mermaid. It's, it's a, the emotions are a little too girly. Like, what's with the prince? You know, what kind of person is he? Pocahontas is a little more modern. Uh, John Smith a little more interesting. Uh, Mulan and I don't even oh the Fox and the Hound. Oh, Fox and the Hound is also depressing. And I've only seen it once and I kind of fell asleep. We'll go Mulan on this one. Aladdin, Robin Hood. We'll go Aladdin. Night Before Christmas and the Rescuers. Rescuers is a childhood classic, personal childhood classic. So I feel bad, you know, um, not voting for uh, Tim Burton's, uh, one of his greatest, most classic films. I've, but I've actually, I've never seen that in its entirety either. Whereas with The Rescuers, I guess just for me, my personal experience would give it to The Rescuers. Um, Aristocats and Lion King. I think the Cadavos family would not like me for not watching the Aristocats yet. But I'm sorry. I, I'm pretty sure they would give it to Lion King here too, though. I don't know. I don't want to assume. Oh, Hercules and Hunchback. These are a couple of my favorites. This is also really hard. Ah, oh, I think out of personal bias, like, you know, we're talking about Greek mythology and we're talking about Catholicism. And this is, has really deep, dark themes. We're going to go with Hunchback here. You know, it, it was kind of uh, watered down for the for the kids, but it's still really awesome. Now, here we have the modern age movies, uh, mostly 3D, um, you know, 90s, 2000s. We're going to go with Moana here. I've actually never seen Chicken Little. Uh, Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch is one of my absolute favorites. Tangled and a Goofy movie. Oh my god, that's so hard. I mean, 
um, wow. A goofy movie brings out the boy in me, and it's a classic. It's one of my favorites. Tangled. Oh my god, how do I vote this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Tangled. I'm gonna go Tangled on this one. It's too good to pass up. Wreck It Ralph and Treasure Planet. We'll go uh, Wreck It Ralph. Treasure Planet was like all right. Uh, Zootopia, Brother Bear. We'll go Zoo here. Never seen Brother Bear. Um, Emperor's New Groove and Bolt. We'll go New Groove. Um, but I've never seen Bolt either. And I heard, I heard it's like all right. Frozen. Oh my God. You guys already know how I feel about that movie. I don't even have to look at what the other one is. Just by default. Um, Big Hero Six and Meet the Robinsons. We'll go Big Hero Six. Uh, Toy Story. Okay, here we go. Pixar. So these are the really, really good stuff, and it's very unfortunate that they pulled it all in one quadrant. But I guess it gives a fair game to all the different eras. So, uh, let's let's do this. Uh, Monsters University was actually really good. Um, the original Toy Story is like too good. Uh, Wally and Inside Out. Oh, this is hard. These are hard. Oh man. Um, I haven't seen Wally in a while. I've seen I've seen Inside Out like three times. Um, the, the very last scene kind of made me cry, but I think just so artsiness, um, wall, I gotta give it to Wally. Uh, Toy Story 3, of course, Toy 3 here. A Bug's Life was like, okay, it was a very good starting, you know, Pixar starting out. Um, uh, Monsters and Finding Dory. Now, I think this would be a travesty for me to not choose Monsters, Inc. here. But I've only seen it when I was younger, and it didn't really have an impact on me, whereas Finding Dory did. Um, now, I feel like if I watch this again, I would give it to Monsters, Inc. But right now, because of personal experience and personal impact, I'm going to go with Dory here. I, I, Finding Dory was pretty good. Up and Brave, we're going to give it to Up here. Brave was pretty good, but I didn't like the music. I think if Brave had better music, it would have been a much better movie. I think the story w was good. Art was really good. Uh, Ratatouille, this is already making it all the way to the end for me. I'm not even going to look, you know... <laughs> This is making it all the way there. Um, you guys know how I feel about Ratatouille, but uh, <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Um, Coco here. Coco for sure. I never even seen any of the Cars movies. Um, Finding Nemo, The Incredibles. I'll give it, give it to Incredibles here. Shout out to Brad Bird. Okay, let's let's go back and let's finish the bracket here. This is really interesting. Um, Snow White and Jungle Book. Uh, man, uh, mm, I guess, um, for, for the guy, I guess the prestige in history, we'll give it to Snow White. Um, yeah, Bare Necessities, though. Uh, Bambi and Pinocchio, man, these are, these are classics now. Getting to the classics. Um, wow, uh, both are pretty dark. Probably gonna give it, oh, When You Wish Upon a Star, though. When You Wish Upon a Star, that's like the saving grace of Pinocchio. Honestly, just for that song. We'll give it to Pinocchio. Cinderella and Lady and the Tramp. Um, I think Cinderella is a much stronger story, so we'll give it to Cinderella. More iconic music in that, too. Um, Fantasia Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty is okay. I mean, it's kind of weird. It's really, really old school. Fantasia just has... It's, it's kind of, like, everlasting. Like, it's kind of immortal in, it, in its artsiness. You know, it's just music videos, pretty much. Animated music videos, and you can't go wrong with that. Uh, Beauty and the Beast and Tarzan. Mm. I think Beauty and the Beast is stronger. It's more simple. Tarzan is a little more nuanced. Uh, both of them have Glenn Keane characters. Man, this is tough. Uh, Beauty and the Beast, Tarzan. I think the shoe wop she do. Man, they, they're both really different in their vibe of the story. Um, oh man, this is so hard. Uh, up. Uh, I don't know. I might have to come back to that. We'll come back to that one. Uh, Mulan and Pocahontas. I feel like just automatically given to Mulan because I'm Asian. But looking at the movies from their, you know, crit um, from a story standpoint, animation standpoint, Pocahontas might have better animation, I think. But I think Mulan, just the aesthetic of it speaks more to me because I'm Asian and I kind of like the aesthetic of it. Um, so we'll give it to Mulan there. Aladdin and Rescuers. I'll give it to Aladdin here. Rescuers is good, but I like the Rescuers down under, actually. Lion King and Hunchback. Oh, this is also really hard. Um, personal bias again. Maybe Hunchback, but Lion King is a stronger story. I, I wrote Hunchbank. It's supposed to be Hunchback. We'll go Lion King here. Um, 
Let's see, guys. Beauty and the Beast and Tarzan. This is so freaking hard. I don't know. What... Uh. Ah, I wish I was streaming right now so I could like talk to the stream about this. Um. We'll go. Mm, I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll do Beauty and the Beast here. Beauty and the Beast. I I really like the Beast as a character. I'm I'm gonna put Beast instead of Beauty, man. That that that'll make it easier for me to pick. Okay, we'll go on this side. Moana and Lilo. So both uh um Islanders. Um, I think story wise, um, Lilo and Stitch was probably better. I think it has a very unique um style. I forgot the name of the artist who designed um all the characters and stuff, but I really like that guy. Uh, Tangled and Wreck It Ralph. We'll go Tangled here. Wreck It Ralph is really good. Obviously, it, it speaks to my gamer, the gamer in me. But Tangled is just a much stronger story, a, really emotional. Um, uh, you know, uh, it's it's really a classic. So Zootopia Emperor's New Groove. We'll go Zoo here. Um, Atlantis and Big Hero Six. Ooh, Big Hero Six was pretty cheesy to me. I think I'm going to give it to Atlantis. Just this is a little bit more mature in a, of a story. And I really like the art. Yeah, I like the art. Uh, Toy Story and Wally. Um, I think Toy Story 3 is the best Toy Story, right? So, like, I think Toy Story is old. And I think if I went back to watch it, it wouldn't connect to me as much. Uh, I'll probably go Wally here. And here, uh, we'll definitely go Toy 3. Both of the movies were pretty powerful in their emotional content, but Toy Story 3 was by far the strongest. We'll go Coco here as my second favorite Pixar movie. It's unfortunate, you know, the seating and the bracket here that my two favorite movies are right next to each other, but um, we might as well finish the Pixar bracket because Ratatouille automatically wins anyway. Um, we'll go Toy 3 here. Toy Story 3 is amazing. Okay, we'll, we'll, fin we'll finish this out. Um, let's see. Snow, so we'll, on the gold, silver era quadrant, um, Snow White and Pinocchio will go... Hmm, um, when you wish upon a star, dude, but Snow White is like the, such an OG. Uh, I want to watch Snow White again, just to, just to marvel at the, how good the animation is. I really want to watch it again, but I think personally I would give it to Pinocchio here. Um, one of my favorites when I was little. In fact, we broke the VHS. I wish I was able to watch it more. Um, Cinderella and Fantasia. Personal bias, I'm going to go Fantasia here. It's so artsy. And out of these, I am going to go Fantasia because Fantasia is just pure animation. Like, all of these original um, gold, silver era, old era movies are all about animation. And Fantasia, they just went all out with just, um, you know, movement and beauty. And, you know, the stories were kind of different back then in the 40s and 50s. Um, and I can't really relate to a lot of them. So just on pure artsy skill alone, we'll give it to Fantasia. Uh, okay, so this is the era I grew up with, uh, Bronze and Renaissance era, um, Beauty and the Beast of Mulan. Um, ooh, uh, I don't know. I could watch Mulan over and over, and I think just because of that rewatch value, like Beauty and the Beast. If I was a girl, maybe I would pick that one. Like it has, like it has this girly quality to it, like the emotions I feel. But Mulan, even though the main character is a girl, like it has this sort of action action quality to it that I really like. Um, and she, you know, she plays a man. Like, it's it, it relates to me. Actually, it reminds me of Joan of Arc, you know, which is a story I love. So, um, we'll give it to Mulan here. It's actually really unexpected that I would choose Mulan in this quadrant. Aladdin and the Lion King, a couple really, really classic classics. Um, we're all like great characters. I love the genie. I love Scar. I think just because Scar... Actually, my favorite character in the Lion King is Scar. And just because he's so interesting, I think I'm going to give it to him. I think Jafar was not nearly as interesting as Scar. Um, you know, the story in Aladdin was very dynamic. A lot of stuff going on. But I think Lion King is, like, much stronger. Mulan and the Lion King. I think Lion King is too good. I think it's just too good. Like, on merit, on, on filmmaking alone. Like, all personal biases aside with Mulan. On filmmaking alone, I got to give it to the Lion King. Like, it's just too good. Um, we have Lion and Rat here. That's interesting. Um... Okay, so the modern age, Lilo and Tangled. These are both so good. Over here, I'm already going to give it to Zoo. Um, but Lilo and Stitch and Tangled. Wow. Um, those are both... I think if you guys saw my top 10 animated films video, these were both up there. Um, I, I think actually Tangled was ranked higher. I forgot which one was ranked higher, but these were both up there. And I might contradict myself by picking one right now, but... 
I think emotional content Tangled was stronger. For me, as far as feeling the movie, I think Tangled was stronger. But as far as art style, I do prefer Lilo and Stitch's art style. So again, if we're going to make the pick between story and art, I got to give it to story. It does have a greater impact at the end of the day. Um, Lilo and Stitch's story was good, but I've heard I've seen a lot about the movie where they kind of made it more lighthearted than it was before. The original the original storyboard, the original animatic was like a little darker. Um, so I think they they should have kept that darkness in there, and I think um, you know f for for what Tangled is, it's perfect for what for what it attempts to do. Um, so we'll go with Tangled here, and I think I'm also gonna put that over Zootopia. So now my movies, my top four are Fantasia and The Lion King, Tangled and Ratatouille. Uh, for Fantasia and The Lion King, um, <clears throat> again, story trumps art. So we'll go with The Lion King here. Ratatouille is by far my favorite, and I think you know we have the rat and The Lion King, and I gotta give it to The Lion King for making it this far in the bracket. It's a really amazing film. But you guys know me, um, Ratatouille is my favorite movie um, made by Disney or Pixar of all time. Uh, just really, really strong story. Um, it really relates to me because I'm an artist. And if you know like the the themes of the film, the themes of the movie, I'm all about um, art, I'm all about growing, I'm all about talent. Um, and the fact that uh, the theme of the movie is that talent can really be come from anywhere. Um, not everyone can be the greatest, but um, the greatest can, can come from anywhere. And it's really inspiring to me that a, a character like um, Remy, the mouse, or the rat um, can just have such an impact on people and on France. And I just, I'm a Francophile. I love France. Shout out to Hunchback 2, also set in France. Shout out to Beauty and the Beast, also set in France. Um, I love uh, French um, culture. And uh, the thing that ratatouille um gets right about french culture is the food you know they really respect food and i love eating i love food just everything about the movie just speaks to me and um that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed that uh, i hope you guys i don't even know if you watched it but uh uh yeah i just saw this and i wanted to do it and i wanted to record this so why not all right let's get it let's get it all right that's it guys later